everyone, it's Sam Saham and we're back this week to show you how to do fresh rolls. You can buy these in Asian restaurants and they go for about four rolls, which are cut in half. Um, they go for about seven to eight dollars per plate. Um, I will show you how to DIY it and save yourself some money at the same time. Uh, just wanted to give a shout out to my hair. I'm pulling it up because we are making fresh rolls and we're making food. Um, it looks awful though, right? Yeah. But that's okay because we're saving you money and it's not about the hair. Thanks. We're going to make the inside for our fresh rolls right now. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of sesame seed oil. You can just boil the shrimp if you want, but I like um, a clove of garlic here. I like, I like my shrimp to have flavor. So what I do is just take these out and I thaw it a little bit. And then we'll fry them. And after you're frying them, so then it doesn't shrink so much, you will actually take off the skin and then cut them directly in half to put inside your fresh roll. It makes the shrimp taste a lot better than just boiling it, so I just give it, I give it a little bit of flavor. So we'll put this whole bag in here. And then as it's kind of cooking there. We will add soy sauce. I'd say two tablespoons of soy sauce. Oops. Pinch of salt. Um, what else can we add? It doesn't have to be too crazy, but as long as it has a little bit of flavor. And I'm just gonna put some black pepper, so a little bit of black pepper in there. A pinch, I'd say. So we're just gonna let this cook and stir it around. This will be the inside of our fresh rolls. What I like to do is grill it a little bit so it's a little crispy, a little burned, and um, it tastes like almost like barbecued. So once it's cooked, we will peel them and slice them right in half. So let me show you. In the middle here, it's already pre-cut. So we will just slice it right in half. And then that way we can have more um, shrimp for our fresh rolls. We're about to make the fresh rolls now. And I just wanted to show everyone. So this is what it looks like. It says rice paper and it's like a big uh, round sheet. Here is our grilled shrimp, our vermicelli noodle, and all our veg. So anything that you guys want to put in it, I, for, as a standard, um, do the cucumber, lettuce, cilantro, and then our long bean. And then I have these here, which is the, uh, it's a fork specifically for to roll the fresh rolls. And it's a, kind of like, it looks like a strainer. Basically what you do is just run it quick under uh, lukewarm water or hot water and then you can leave it for a little bit and this is consistency and then you roll it. It's kind of like a burrito. So I just basically wanted to quickly show you a couple rolls as I roll them. Here's our shrimp. We want to put them so that they are uh, the pink side down onto the roll. I usually put Depends how you how many shrimp you want to put, but I usually put four, so that's like two uh, halves. Then you'll grab some of your vermicelli noodle, put it on, some cilantro, one long bean, a cucumber, and then lightly, because you don't want to make it too big, so. <laughs> It was tri through trials and tribulations, but I've been making mine very big. So this is about the amount of, if you can see that there. 
And what we're gonna do is just pull up the ends, push it in so it's tight. Very similar to our sushi. And then curl in the ends, the two ends here, and then you roll it. So you can see that the shrimp now is on the outside and just kind of gives it, makes it look a little bit prettier. So that's what they look like. And then I'll just put it on the plate to display. I'll show you guys another one. So four pieces. Some vermicelli noodle. A couple pieces of cilantro. One long bean. Cucumber. And then some lettuce. My friends call this the Asian burrito and really it, it kind of is a really an Asian burrito. So roll it up, fold in the ends, it's kind of sticky so you got to be careful and then keep rolling it, and there you go. So if you find, so this one here for instance, there's a little bit of a rip there, what I do is just double it up so then people can eat it and it's not falling apart on them when they're eating. Sometimes these rice paper rolls are very, they're very delicate. So if you don't, if you're not used to it, or sometimes they actually even have holes in them. So all you want to do is just double it up. It's fine. And then just roll it again. There you go. And then just set it on the side.